seen the series, uh, Ben plays plays the pot dealer, and he is sort of the through line of the series, but not the focus of the series. I, I kind of just want to hear the story of how it started in the process and what's happened in the last year, if that's all right. Yeah. Well, Katya and I got married three years ago. On New Year. Thanks. Thanks. She was in casting, and I had taught myself how to edit through doing my like commercial contests and okay. shit like that. Like the Doritos kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I would like source the one, the contests that had no people in them, and I would enter those. <laughs> okay. uh, so, so like the C-Town brand of Doritos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I. With great success, and then uh, <laughs> and we we smoke a lot of weed, and we, we're like, oh, that dealer interaction. There's like you could have that in real time, and you could make something out of that. And plus, we knew, full disclosure, we know a couple of people who are in the business. And they, uh, are you talking about weed or TV? <laughs> well, well, both. Both. <laughs> Your your web series is the first first web series I've ever watched in my life. Where the whole time I'm just like. How is this on the internet? And I'm not stealing it. I think after we figured it out and we showed it to a few people and, and some people whose opinions we trusted, they were like, no, this is this is cool. Can, is there more? Are there more episodes? And then we're like, oh, we could make more. And then we just started making more and kind of like, uh, the rest is history, I guess. Oh, yeah, I pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> you know what I mean. You, you, see the evidence online. You can see what the way that it unfolded if you watch the show. What, b besides your... Straight that from the record. <laughs> After you're a few episodes in and you sort of have the kind of the rhythm of it, uh, is that how you approach an episode? Is we would like these people and we're going to write something? Or is it we know this story or this happened to a friend of ours? Uh, we write for actors in that. Uh, not necessarily exactly how they might speak or what they would say, but we know what they're capable of as actors and human beings, and we don't ask them to do anything that they wouldn't already be identifiable as being able to do. Okay. We ask people to do what they're good at. That was the translation yes. of that. <laughs> yeah. I like how you said it, though. Yeah. It's <laughs> a little more baroque, but whatever. <laughs> Candace and John and that Trixie Airbnb episode. Are... it, I believe. Oh yeah, give their address. <laughs> what? what apartment number was that? Yeah, two B. But the buzzer doesn't work, so you're gonna have to call if you want Candace to let you in. This is the second time you're revealing someone's address in like an interview. We also shoot at. North Street, apartment <laughs> 404. This is for whoever wants to like, make the high maintenance uh, yeah. bus tour or something. Talk to Ben, give you all You're the You're going to have to get the rights from us, though. <laughs> so at the beginning, in the Stevie episode, that's our our, our sister-in-law, uh, which is the reason that Katya and I met, actually, Bridget Maloney Sinclair. She is, uh, we just knew... <laughs> address? Address. She lives at um, <laughs> Chavez Street, Burbank. Can you cut this out? So, I'm very good with numbers. <laughs> Just remembering stuff like that. I remember the shape that the numbers make on a keypad. Anyway, uh, maps too. Yeah, maps too. Uh, You're making a series that you don't have. A budget, but you're making this in a way that it looks like you have a budget. How do you how do you accomplish that? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, you know, we knew we could shoot inside of an apartment for five minutes. Okay. You know, <laughs> or you know, for you know, we used to get really worried about production days. And is everything going to be right? Is everything going to be right? And I think the worry about production days is less because we know that mm, even uh, you know, we're going to figure it out. There's, we have enough shots to make sure that we can cut away from whatever fucked up in that shot, and we can cut to that shot, and when that fucks up, we can go to that shot, you know? So we just make sure that we get, like, enough shots so that when something eventually goes wrong, we can get it off. We also work with really talented people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> really talented people. What's going on now? What's in the future? Um, is there anything you can talk about as far as that goes? 
Yeah, um, we have a script deal for high maintenance as uh, the half hour version of it uh, with FX. Um, but you know, there are so many uh, uncovered opportunities on the internet to explore for in, in terms of, of content. So I can't. We're really excited about exploring what other kind of longer form web, uh, web things that can be done is just the beginning of that textbook. Yeah, this, you know? this TV endeavor is largely because we need to pay some bills and television money is a lot different than web series money. <laughs> just is. In there, yeah. it's there. Yeah. <laughs> so, just trying to get some of that sweet, sweet TV money and then, uh, and then we can, you know, do some other things, hopefully, and have the f more freedom to do that. Ben and Katia from High Maintenance, everyone. Another new study revealed that uh, cell phones are 18 times dirtier than a public restroom. So, thanks a lot, Snapchat. <laughs>